The Olive Tree Cafe, which is the famous restaurant located above the Comedy Cellar in the Village, has got a new chef, and she just so happens to be one of our favorite in New York City. Today, we're giving you a taste. Hey, Nat, it is lovely to see you. Hi, you too, Lorraine. So we're here at the Olive Tree Cafe, which is famously the restaurant above the Comedy Cellar. Mm -hmm. But you've redone the menu here. How did you get involved? I'm coming here for years. Every night out that I want to impress some friends that come in out of town or out of the country, I always get them here. And then a friend introduced me to the owner that looking to upgrade a bit the menu. They want to keep some Middle Eastern identity. So i born and raised in Israel in a little town next to Tel Aviv. Aviv and I think I was cooking before I even was walking. We love your food. Thank you. Balabusta is still open and doing well and here we are at the Olive Tree Cafe but there's some other reason that we're here today it's because the link to Comedy Cellar you do stand-up comedy now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. How did you get into it? I want to challenge myself. I want to do something that's really out of my comfort zone. I want to do something that's not related to my family. Uh, that's me not cooking for them, not related to my family or my restaurant or my employee or my natural surrounding. I want to do something that is completely different. Are there any similarities between cooking and comedy? Yes, a lot. The process of creating a dish to a process to find a set and it's a little bit similar. Also, you kind of asking gratification from stranger at non-stop. I think there is something similar there that you looking for some feedback. Let's start with hummus. I have a little bit topping. We have some warm chickpea. We have some tahini and schug, the Yemenite spicy salsa. Finish it with uh, olive oil, some beautiful fluffy pita. Then I want to put something on a menu that have a little bit more like healthy vibe into it because places like Comedy Cellar people come late they want fried food you want a lot but some people you know want something a little bit different so here we have charred broccoli we have roasted red pepper tahini on the bottom we have some pickled fresno on top and we top it with a little bit toasted almonds I'm not kidding that's like the best broccoli I've ever had and then we have some shrimp very similar style to Spanish shrimp with a lot of garlic parsley chili but here we add a little bit preserved lemon giving some sourdough on the side to dip on the beautiful sauce. Here we have chicken shawarma with french fries. We have ambayoli sauce. We have some pickled cabbage inside and a lamb tagine with a lot of dry fruit, chickpea, carrot. Your food is always so amazing. What's your secret? I'm the secret <laughs> <laughs> Do you have dates that we can come see you do comedy? Where can we look for that information? Yeah, prime time Friday. <laughs> Just follow me at <laughs> on social. Yes, and then I always give some heads up for the next show. And then of course we can come visit you at Bella yes. or right here at Olive Tree. Olive Cafe. Tree, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nora. This was so much fun. Thank you.